Oh, I messed up already. Yikes. Oh, it sounds so forced. Oh, this is really... <laughs> Hey guys, welcome, bienvenidos and wagwan. My name is Javon, but you can call me Jovi. Thank you for tuning in today. And in this corner of the internet, we talk all things tech and lifestyle. My goal is to help women of color with non-traditional backgrounds transition into tech. So today we are talking boot camps. So let's go. Okay, so you just enrolled into a boot camp or you're thinking of enrolling into a coding boot camp and you're just not sure how you're gonna be able to navigate and balance your time. I got you. I'm gonna give you my top six tips in no particular order of how to survive boot camp. All right, y'all, so I got my notes here. I had to write them down. Um, so tip number one, staying organized. Finding, you need to find a system that allows you to take notes, either typed or written, that will allow you to get the most out of the day and the topics that you're covering. Look through your syllabus. Knowing what you're gonna be talking about for the day is gonna allow you to best know what you need to navigate and how you need to navigate throughout the course and throughout the day. For me, when I first started boot camp, I was um, first handwriting notes, and then I quickly realized that that wasn't working for me because the, pa the pace of the class was too fast. So um, it may work for somebody else, it just didn't personally work for me. Sometimes I would take notes in um, Microsoft OneNote or I would take notes in my editor while the teacher was talking. But as I started to create a system where I figured out what we were talking about for the day and some things I might need to know and remember, it was pretty easy for me to um, stay on top of things and stay organized. I would also add to that, um, make sure you come to class prepared. You know, don't try not to be the person that just rolls out of bed, especially if your your boot camp is remote. Try not to be the person that rolls out of bed and just hops onto your computer. Like, get yourself ready, have your code editor ready, up and ready to go. Um, have some questions from the day previously. Maybe you've had some questions on the homework, so on and so forth. Try to stay as organized as possible because the class is going to be moving at a very, very fast rate. So you have to stay on top of things. So for tip number two, I would say to master time management. Like I said before, things are gonna be moving pretty quickly. So you wanna stay on top of assignments, homeworks, due dates, networking events, um, anything that may be coming up um, that if you don't pace yourself or you procrastinate even more, <laughs> it's gonna be hard for you. You don't wanna be waiting till last minute to do certain things. So I would say, um, master time management and create a routine that makes life outside of boot camp easier what do i mean by that so um a lot of these boot camps uh, most of them are full-time so you you are working for them like 40 hours a week minimum so things like meal prepping um doing your laundry on off days or during breaks um, doing household chores during breaks or off days those are going to be the things that help you manage your time better because you're going to look up and it's going to be 10 o'clock at night or you're going to be super tired too tired to do anything and you want to keep track of what's going on and still have your life outside of boot camp running smoothly so tip number three okay this is a big one and I'm gonna need my introverts to understand where I'm coming from on this one, okay? You need to make friends. You need allies. You need to engage with people, okay? I know a lot of people are like, nah, I'm not gonna do that. That's too much. Think about it. No matter how hard the boot camp gets, you can rant to anyone. You can rant to close friends, close family, but nobody is gonna particularly understand what you're going through more than your classmates, more than your professors or your, um, or your IAs. So you wanna be able to have an ally, a group of people that will help support you and you do the same for them if you're missing any assignments or if there's a particular thing that you didn't understand but they understand it you want to be able to 
you want to be able to have someone that's going to be on your side when things you know get a little rough so i would say make friends it is super important and then on top of that you don't know where anybody's gonna go after this and you want to be put in a position where like okay if somebody gets a, a big job they think of you when it when the time comes you know when the time comes they think of you whether it's a professor or a friend you know oh, okay this person engaged in class they asked a lot of questions they were willing to help people and explain things that they had down pat so i'm telling you right now even if you're you don't consider yourself a super extroverted person at least have one or two people one or two people <laughs> that you're willing to uh get to know and really make some like close relationships with tip number four practice practice and more practice i'm serious redo all the hard problems the things you don't get focus on those even more because coding like almost almost any other hard thing to learn has to be done by practice think of it as a sport you know what i'm saying you don't get good at a sport by watching other people for hours do it and then you get and then you put yourself in the ring and expect to be good at it you have to practice it takes it's a system it has to you have to keep going through the process and i know that that seems like if you're already in a boot camp and you're having a hard time you're probably like okay well no girl i'm tired after we solve the problem i'm going to bed no try to do it again try to do it again the best way to for me personally to grasp certain concepts was to build really 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 small projects like a to-do list so on so that's like one of the more popular ones in coding um or like uh an organizing app those small things to build to grasp certain concepts they will help you and also you can add those to your portfolio too so i would say in practicing keep practicing the hard problems over and over especially your data structures and algorithms um, I would practice those even on whiteboards as well just to make sure that you have the knowledge even without the editor there so um, keep practicing keep building it is a lot of the concepts you're not going to get by just taking it in and regurgitating facts that's not what that's not what developers do at all um if we were required to remember every single thing we learned yeah it wouldn't work well it, it wouldn't work very well okay all right so tip number five make sure you're sharing your journey network as much as possible while you're in boot camp i would say make posts on linkedin regularly um have different meetings with with people who are in positions that you're looking to gain after you um, graduate and um, share what you're learning share what you're learning don't make the process don't don't try to be perfect and then present yourself present yourself as you go through the journey because then you're gonna be on people's radars right if you start to share like hey I learned this super hard problem or we learned this concept today or we learned um, I finally started to understand a b and c of whatever tech stack you're learning right this will put people this will put you on people's radars so when you do finally graduate it makes it, it kind of creates this storyline that makes people want to help you like i remember when she was struggling with something i remember when she shared that she finally learned something excuse me he or she um you want to share that journey with people you don't want to try to be perfect and then present yourself because the worst time to build a network is when you actually need one tip number six find a mentor make sure that you find a mentor i cannot stress this enough if you don't hear anything else i say in this video find a mentor it's important because you need to see someone in your in in the space that you're trying to be in that you know was in a position you were in that looks like you that went through the same process or maybe went through a similar process but make sure you find a mentor and make sure you relate to that mentor and i mean you can find anybody either paid or free i have two mentors personally um 
I love them both dearly like I'm just like I think they put me on in so many ways um, more than others so I would say that finding a mentor is pivotal in your journey because sometimes you need that kind of push and you need the resources and you need the name dropping that allows you to be put into rooms that you probably would have had to fight a little more to get into or take a little bit longer to get into. Mentors just really catapult your journey, right? And I guess I would say part 6A to that would be to use your resources while you're in boot camp use your resources while you're in boot camp for example if you guys have um office hours homework hours whatever your boot camp calls it attend those office hours attend them stop playing stop playing because guess what that is in your tuition that price that you paid that's built into that so you might as well use every single resource you can okay don't try to say oh i don't need it or like um Oh, um, just wait too late in order to, I, I saw some people in my boot camp. They didn't come to TA hours till like towards the end of our boot camp. And it wasn't a wrong thing necessarily, but you should be using your resources. If they say they're going to provide extra help, they're going to give you networking events. They're going to, um, link you up with a certain mentor, or, um, they're going to help you with interviews. I know that it's a lot to take in with uh logic all the assignments all the work that you have to do and then on top of that it's like oh my gosh i have to like network and then i have to get to know people and do all these different things let me tell you something it comes at you fast it does come at you fast but if you practice you stay organized you make your friends find a mentor and you share your journey <laughs> And you share your journey and you improve your time management. I'm telling you, all six of these tips together will tremendously help you. I promise. So with that being said, what was your favorite tip? Do you have any tips to add? Are you a boot camp grad? Are you looking into going to boot camp? Make sure you comment below and let me know. And tell me what kind of videos you want to see from me in the future. I think I have a lot of good things up my sleeve pen for you guys. If you're into that kind of content, please like, comment, and share this video with your favorite tech techie. And most importantly, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you'll know when I come out with new content.